Hey, what's up guys? So today we're going to be doing a 40 questions about me. Uh, I was tagging this on Facebook, so I figured, you know, why not kill two birds with one stone, you know, completing the tag and then also kind of doing an about me, uh, since these questions are actually uh, pretty, um, pretty personal. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Question one, what is your age? I am 26 years young. I was born in 1989. Question number two, are you single? Yes, I am very single. <laughs> uh, question number three, am I crushing anybody? I would say that, I mean, you know, there are a couple of people that uh, I could say that I, I'm crushing on, uh, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> uh, question four, what's your sexuality? I am a straight male uh, or also heterosexual. Um, question number five, favorite color. My favorite color, I always say green, but another of my favorite colors is also black and white. Uh, I just have like a, an affinity for like gray or that like color combination of black and white. It just kind of, it's appealing to me. Um, question number six, your favorite kind of music. That's a tough one. Um, I am a big fan of like electronic kind of like trance and I'm talking like old school trance, like, you know, circa 2000 to 2004, I think. Um, that kind of like old school trance and electronic music. Um, but I'm also a big fan of like a little bit of hip hop, like old school hip hop. Um, and then as well as, uh, alternative music, uh, you know, post hardcore whatever, like just that entire realm of like alternative music. The next question is number seven. What's your favorite band or artist? I have quite a few of those actually. So that's kind of hard, but, um, if I had to name a few, I would say, you know, like Lincoln park, bring me the horizon, um, slaves or you know like uh, old school dance gavin dance um amorosa of course old school amorosa with johnny craig i'm a huge fan of johnny craig uh so any any kind of uh band situation that he's in i'm just i'm a huge fan of paramore is also a favorite band of mine obviously I have a tattoo of them um also here's a tattoo i have of uh chester from lincoln park um you guys could check that out in my uh, tattoo video uh, on my ASMR channel if you haven't seen that. I might do a, a tattoo video for this channel, um, kind of like um, in, in like a regular style of showing because on my ASMR channel, I'm like whispering throughout the entire video and some people aren't really into that. So I might redo the tattoo video uh, with just, you know, normal speaking for you guys. Um, let's see, the next question is going to be uh, number eight and do I have any talents? Um, hmm. I mean, <laughs> I do a little bit of everything. I'm kind of like a jack of all trades, uh, or at least I try to be. So, you know, I've dabbled in singing. I've dabbled in like uh, playing instruments. I've dabbled in um, sports, of course. I would say, you know, my, my artistic abilities are probably uh, the height of some of my talents. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much my main focus is just like, you know, my artistic ability to create and, and, and be creative and, and entertain. Uh, I think that's, those are some of my strong suits. Uh, the next question is going to be question nine. Am I in love? And if so, who? Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm in love with myself. Uh, I'm in love with my, you know, my mom, my, my, my younger brothers and sister, um, and just my entire family. But as far as like, you know, actually in love with somebody, uh, yeah, no, I don't think so. <laughs> uh, number 10, do I have any hobbies? Um, ASMR is one. Uh, creating videos on the side. Uh, I'm a gamer, of course. Uh, what else do I do? Uh, I go to the gym a lot. <laughs> I eat food. That's kind of a thing. Uh, number 11 is going to be, am I a gamer? Well, yes, I am. <laughs> number 12, uh, swag, emo, or scene? I would probably say scene um, cuz back in the day when that was like a thing uh, I was a huge fan of like that look that uh, people were able to um, portray you know that that's kind of scene stir style with the cool hair and like the the tight-fitted clothes I don't know something about it just kind of like uh, it just st stuck with me um, during that time let's see the next question is going to be number 13 uh, do I have long or short hair I have pretty long hair right now um if it's asking whether i prefer long or short hair uh it really doesn't matter when it comes to me i can rock either you know either really short hair or you know long hair 
uh, or you know a midway hair too as well where I can like faux hawk it or you know kind of do random things with it um, but if it comes to like somebody else um, I don't really have a preference uh, I don't know if that's gonna be a question later on but like I'm not really uh, like when I when I when I look to when it comes to being attracted to somebody like I'm more about how they, like the entire package fits not you know I don't have like a preference for like one thing or another um, I'm kind of about you know the the whole general person <laughs> um, let's see the next question is going to be uh, 14 height I am 5'9 uh, 15 weight right now I weigh 190 um, and I'm trying to get back down to like 179 175 that range um, because that's what I used to be in the military, uh, or when I first joined the military, uh, doing a lot of conditioning, you know, exercises and stuff like that. Uh, I dropped weight uh, significantly, um, but my weight usually ranges between like 175 and like 190, uh, depending on you know how much I'm exercising, how much I'm training, how much I'm eating, stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, so next question is number 15 or no number 16 uh, eye color. I have I have green eyes. But they're kind of hazel at the same time. Like, like they're they're mostly green, but then there's like a, a rim of like hazel in there. Um, and sometimes they change color. I don't know. I've noticed that uh, over the years is that like depending on the 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 time of the year or maybe the temperature, like my eyes will change. They'll, they'll get like a little bit gray, or they'll you know pop with color. It just really depends. Um, let's see. Question number seventeen. Hair color. Um, Sometimes I say black, sometimes I say brown. It's kind of like a weird, it's like in between. It's, it's more brownish than anything, but uh, like when it's wet, it looks black. But once it's dried out, it's it's pretty brown. Um, I do have like natural highlights in my hair as well. Um, and they're pretty noticeable when my hair is like pretty long. Um, the next question is going to be question 18, shirt color, uh, black. <laughs> uh, 19, jeans or shorts? I would probably say jeans. Shorts are kind of comfy, but um, I just like uh, like nice fitted jeans that that feel comfortable. Uh, even if it's like hot outside, I'll still wear you know like a nice good pair of jeans. Um, Twenty, get married. Um, yeah, someday. Uh, I don't think anytime soon, unless if I meet somebody that's like you know on my level of things. But uh, that's yet to be seen. <laughs> uh, Twenty-one, have kids. That's a tough one. Right now, no, I, I don't want kids like whatsoever, um, like not at all. <laughs> I don't have like I can I barely have time for enough for myself, uh, let alone time to you know raise a child. Because I believe that you know once you have a kid, you should revolve your life around the kid and and, and uh, raising your kid because you know that's that's a huge responsibility. That's what you're supposed to do, you know. Um, and I'm not ready for that yet. <laughs> Uh, let's see, uh, question 22, get divorced. Um, you know, if I was married and it came to the point where, uh, you know, things just somehow, you know, turn for the worst, you know, my partner made some bad choices and things couldn't be worked out. Uh, yeah, I would definitely get a divorce, but, um, I wouldn't get married in the first place. Uh, I would make sure that that's the person that I'm going to be with forever. Um, I wouldn't even like, uh, go into the marriage process without knowing like you know or, or having any doubts you know like I would have to be for certain to get married because uh, I don't, I don't want to go through a divorce but if I had to I would um, question 23 uh, ever or still do wet the bed I don't think I've ever wet the bed I think maybe I think I don't know honestly I think everybody's wet the bed at some point growing up you know whether sometimes you you have to like pee really bad and like you're having like a crazy dream and then like I don't know in the dream you're like you have to go and it just you know you wake up and you accidentally like accidentally do it <laughs> I think it's happened to me like once or twice when I was younger but uh yeah definitely not anymore um let's see 24 have do you have or have you had or do you have depression um, I think there was a point in my life where I was depressed. Um, it was around the time when I first joined the military, uh, after I, I was trained and, you know, uh, got my, you know, basic training and, and regular training for, uh, what my job was going to be. My first base that I got stationed at was in South Korea, like some just random ass country, uh, 
um, you know, out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, and that was definitely not really a culture shock, but just like uh, a shock in general because of, you know, I, I was I was so familiar with a certain way of life that like getting sent to like a different country where, where people live and, and, and act a certain way. And it's totally different from what you're used to. It's just like a huge shock. Um, especially, you know, if you don't have friends or anything or if, it, if, if you're just kind of like thrust into this like fast-paced world where you don't even have time to like process like what's going on. Um, that's kind of what happened to me. And, uh, I, I went through uh, a little bit of a depression. But um, aside from that, no, I've never really been in like a, a serious depression or ever, ever had like... Uh, issues with that that I couldn't handle myself or get over myself um, and you know fortunately enough for me uh, some people aren't able to do that um, 25 have you ever self-harmed um, I want to be honest and say yeah uh, I've I've tried it before um, as again you know kind of during that time or during other times that, that uh, were really stressful um, just to see if if it would actually, you know, relieve anything, because you know, obviously you hear stories of people self-harming, they claim that you know it makes them feel better, it distracts them from the pain of other things. So it, it I'm not really one to do that, um, because I, I really do cherish my life, and I really do feel like you know I have a lot to offer, and and there's things that that I wish, or that I need to do before I, I go, you know. So self-harming is kind of like you know, a contradiction to all of that. So. Um, during those times when I, when I did do it, it was more of, uh, just kind of trying it out to see if, if in fact, you know, the, the stories were true that, that it, it did distract from, you know, whatever stresses you were going through at the time. Um, and I, I, I found it to be, you know, ineffective for me, uh, which is why, you know, I never really continued it after that, but you know, I've tried it. Um, number 26, thoughts of suicide. I would say no. I don't. I never really thought of like actually going through anything like that. I think everybody kind of thinks of death at some point in time. Um, you know, you don't even have to go through a bad situation. You know, it's just it could just be a thought that you know flies through your head. Like, hey, you know, I wonder what it would be like if I just died. You know, would anybody care? Would anybody? Uh, how would people react? You know, would people miss me? Um, you know, did I make a big enough impact on the world that like I even mattered? Um, but I don't think I ever like truly, you know, like sat there and just like wanted to like just end everything. Um, I know there were a few times where I just kind of like wanted to just sleep and like not wake up. <laughs> um, but never, never thoughts of like actual self harm. Um, more just like wanting to just get away from, you know, whatever situation that I was going through. Um, the next question is. Uh, Name somebody that you love. Uh, I love my mom. <laughs> I love my dad. I love my brother. Uh, I love me. Uh, I love everybody in my family, pretty much. Um, 28, someone that you hate. I don't really hate anybody. That's one of the things about me is that like I don't, I don't hold grudges. I don't um, uh, keep negative feelings towards somebody. I usually uh, make friends with everybody. I don't really have many enemies, at least not that I know of. Um, it's one of those things where I I just kind of, you know, depending on how somebody approaches me, like I, I always give people like the benefit of the doubt, you know, like I always approach them positively and unless they give me a reason to hate them, everything should be fine. But, you know, if they do, you know, uh, approach me the wrong way or if they, they do, you know, um, make things kind of like awkward or set, set things off like in a negative way, um, I'll usually just like cut it off right there and then like let it go. Uh, I don't, I don't have the, the mental bandwidth, uh, or capacity to, to harbor feelings like that because there's so much other, you know, positive stuff that, that takes, that, that needs, that I need to, to have space for that. Um, and obviously, you know, more positive stuff is, is important, more important than, you know, keeping negative feelings for somebody that, you know, probably really doesn't matter or you'll you know you'll never see again or you just you won't ever need to interact with because you know you just you cut them off um so no i don't i don't really hate anybody uh 29 my dream job my dream job oh man my dream job would be <laughs> that's kind of hard 
um, just be, I don't know, being able to create what I want and what I envision and being able to, to sustain myself, you know? Um, and that's really vague, but because like, that's how open I am. Like, you know, whether I'm making movies, whether I'm working for a studio, making games, uh, doing animation or compositing or, uh, just being, or, you know, doing this, being an entertainer, like it doesn't really matter. I'm pretty open-ended about it. Um, but as long as I, I get to be myself and, and portray myself and be able to help others, I'm good. <laughs> I'll be happy. Uh, question number 30, do I have tattoos? Yes, <laughs> I have plenty of tattoos. Uh, question 31, do I have any piercings? Um, right now I have my ears pierced. Um, I had my tongue pierced twice, uh, my septum pierced once, and... I think that was, yeah, I think that was it. I wanted to get my lip pierced just to try it out. I wanted to try out my eyebrow as well, uh, but I just haven't got around to doing those. The next question is going to be uh, number 32, the worst day of your life. Hmm, the worst day of my life. That's that's kind of hard. Because again, you know, I, I don't really harbor negative feelings, so, ah, uh, man, the worst day of my life would probably have to have been... Probably uh, the day that I lost um, my cat uh, through like because uh, uh, oh man this is a hard time basically it's it's a really sad story but long story short uh, I, I adopted a cat that was um, like hiding out in the sewer and I raised it for a little bit and um, it ended up uh, I don't want to get too graphic but it, it ended up dying. And, um, you know, I really, this was a cat that I like really cared for because normally I'm, I'm allergic to most cats, but there's certain breeds that I can actually like be around and, and not be, uh, affected. And this was like the first breed of cat that like didn't affect me whatsoever. You know, like it was able to just crawl all over me and, and be, and I was perfectly fine. Um, I had like, like no allergic reaction. So, um, when, you know, the, the events transpired that, uh, caused it to pass away, um, it was a really, really sad day for me. Um, and then a couple of months later, that my my dog, my husky, uh, had died as well. Um, and I still haven't reacted to that properly. That kind of like left me numb after that happened. So yeah, I would say uh, whatever year that was that, that I lost my cat and my dog, that was probably uh, the worst uh, time of my life. Uh, 34, best day of your life. Ooh, I have quite a few of those. Um, Man, if I had to choose one best day of my life, probably the day that I was born. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, I don't know. I, I, I never, you know, if I wasn't born, I never would have been able to experience anything that I've gone through. Because um, I, I don't really have any regrets in my life. And I don't know if that's another that's a question. Oh, that is a, a, an actual question. So I'll, I'll come back to that when we get there. Uh, question number 35, biggest fear. This is one that is kind of hard to answer as well, because I don't, I don't really fear things. I, I'm very aware of like problems and issues that may arise in, in, in each different situation, you know, uh, presently as I'm going through life, as I'm making my decisions and, and, and you know, making different moves to, to try to, you know, be successful and build my life. Um, I'm very aware of the, the problems and issues that can happen. Uh, but I'm not really afraid of them. Um, I used to be afraid of the dark, you know, like entering a dark room and like trying to search for the light switch and like thinking something's going to like, you know, come out and grab you. Um, but after certain experiences, I kind of got over that and uh, learned to kind of embrace <laughs> the, uh, the the unknown and not really be, again, not really be afraid of it, but be aware and be uh, conscious of, you know, the possibilities. Uh, the next question is going to be number 36, bi biggest insecurity. I would say my biggest insecurity, honestly, is probably my physical appearance. Um, I used to be a little bit chubby when I was a kid, um, and not really that chubby, you know, like, I was just a normal, average, you know, young, freaking, you know, 8 to, to, 
to 10 year old or whatever uh but it was like back between i think it was like sixth grade through seventh grade i used to get made fun of for being a little bit you know heavier than uh some of the other kids um especially because uh, i used to never i used to hate wearing jeans because you know i was a little bit heavy set so jeans were a little bit tight on me and they were just uncomfortable so i used to always wear like sweatpants or joggers or something um and again i used to get made fun of for it uh it's not like i didn't have friends back you know back during that time but again being made fun of you know or being picked on uh kind of stuck with me throughout my entire life and um uh, it came to a point like in high school where I was kind of like fed up with it. I was like, you know what? Fuck this. Like I'm going to get fit. I'm going to, uh, be confident in myself and learn to love myself and, and be able to, again, look at myself in the mirror and be happy with what I see. Um, so there was a turning point in my life when I decided to, you know, start working out, start training, um, and, uh, you know, get things on track and, and really be able to uh, ex exploit my personality. Because I used to be uh, not really shy, but just not confident with who I was as a person. Like, I wasn't confident that others would accept me for who I really am. Um, so I was always kind of, like, reserved, kind of shy. I wouldn't know how to, like, approach people or talk to people. But again, it came to a certain point where I was just, like, I was done with it. I was, like, f fed up with it. I was, like, fuck this, you know? I just, I want to be accepted. I want to be known. I want to be, like somebody that that people look up to and that people go to for you know whatever whatever they may need i want to be useful i want to feel like uh i'm i'm of use you know I, i'm worth something uh and so i over the years i've just you know i've, I've built and taught myself how to to have that self-love um and it's still not perfect you know i still have some insecurities with myself and you know if there's a mirror i always have to look at it and double check i, I look okay and and uh but yeah, that, that's probably that's probably one of my biggest things. Um, number 37, most painful memory. Uh, well, I guess I kind of answered that earlier with, uh, with uh, the death of my pets. Um, but if I were to have any other one besides that, most painful memory. <sighs> that's hard. I mean, because I could, I could say when my grandma died... That was that was tough, you know. Seeing my mom really like break down, um, because you know it was her mom that that passed away. So seeing her like break down and really sad, like really like, ah, it hit me. Um, I would probably yeah, I'll, I'll probably just answer with that. Uh, I'm I'm sure there's others that I could pick from, but for the sake of that, I'll just answer with that. Uh, number thirty eight, something that you regret. I don't really regret anything, <laughs> to be honest. I really don't. Um, there are some things that, you know, I probably could have done better or made different choices or better choices. Uh, but in the end, you know, I wouldn't be here where I, where I am right now and be the person that I am right now without going through whatever, anything and everything that I've gone through, um, the way that I went through it. So um, I'm more appreciative of, of all the hardships and all of the good times that, I, that I've been through. Um, number 39, hardest thing you had to do. The hardest thing that I've ever had to do, probably the military, just in general. Um, being in the military was one of those things that I I didn't necessarily do it for because I wanted to. You know, like I did it because I had to do it. Um, I knew that you know once I got out of high school that okay I could either take out a shit ton of loans and be in debt for the rest of my life trying to pay that crap off. Or join the military, work for a couple of years, and then earn free tuition. And, you know, obviously a bunch of other benefits that come with being a veteran. So uh, that's what I chose. I, I decided to go to the military. That was a pretty grown-up decision to make um, for myself because I just, I don't know. I've always been kind of like that. Like, it, I, I know what I have to do, and I go do it um, in order to, you know, get to that next step and succeed. Um and, be, and, you know, in growing as a person and becoming more self-sufficient. Uh, so that was probably one of the hardest things I had to do, obviously, because, you know, I went through that depression um, at my first duty station. And then uh, just there were a lot, a lot of hardships with, with my specific job in the military. Um, and a lot of things that I had to go through, you know, dealing with, with your, your higher-ups, you know, people of higher rank that 
that you don't necessarily agree with, um, dealing with, you know, the long work hours, you know, coming home freaking dirty and greased up every day uh, after working like, you know, 10, 14 hour shifts for like a week straight. Like it, it's, um, it was rough. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I was a mechanic in the military, a fighter mechanic. Uh, I worked on F-16s um, as a crew chief, and that just was just a super demanding job, and it was very, very stressful. Again, it was it was a job that I didn't pick for myself. I actually uh, I went in open general or open mechanical, uh, so it like my my job field was open to be able to. Uh, for the for the military to choose, you know which job I was going to get, but it, within the me mechanical field because I I had an, a high aptitude for that, um, so it wasn't necessarily a job that I I, I picked myself that I, I wanted to do. You know, uh, the original job that I picked was uh, in, to be an aerial gunner. You know, I figured if I was going to be in the military, I might as well do something fucking cool, uh, you know, shoot guns and shit. But um, I ended up choosing to go and open mechanical so that I could leave earlier and start my life earlier because um, otherwise I would have had to wait like months before I could you know actually go to basic training and do that whole process so I was just like nah fuck it I want to leave earlier and start my life already let me just do this and hope for the best uh, so yeah that, that was probably one of the hardest things that I've had to do um, worst decision of your life I'm written that's the last question hmm the worst decision of my life. I don't know. I don't know if I have one. Again, because like I said before, I'm, I'm really appreciative of everything that I've been through and everything that I've done and chosen. Um, and, you know, obviously I could have done certain things better, but I don't think I have like a, a worst decision, like, like the most like horrible thing that I've ever done uh, in my life. Um, if I had to pick something, it would probably be not, uh, not being more financially responsible while I was in the military. Um, cause I, I, I went through a couple of hardships, uh, with financial things in the military that I probably could have avoided if I was a little bit more, uh, aware and more conscious of like where certain money was going, you know, making sure if I was overpaid or not and, and things like that. Like there, you know, and obviously saving more money. Um, I could have definitely had like a, a bigger pillow in my bank account, at, you know, for, for the time that I, I ended up getting out of the military um, rather than where I, you know, I actually ended up. I really didn't have uh, many finances when I did get out. So I probably could have, uh, you know, been more financially responsible if I had to pick anything. Uh, and that's it. That's 40 things. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit more about me, hearing a little bit, you know, of my story. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, you know, give the video a like, uh, you know, leave, leave a comment or whatever. Um, but yeah, uh, the next video that I should be coming out with will, um, you know, aside from the vlogs, will be a, uh, the first episode of uh, a series called Ask Pudding or ask pudding or pudding asks one of the two uh, I haven't decided yet um, where basically you guys will be able to send in your questions and I will either you know give my opinion my advice my input um, you know pick from my my vast field of knowledge uh, to kind of help you out and um, answer whatever it is that um, you need answered so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys later so as always keep dreaming